What's up guys, Peter here, back with another video. Hope you're all having a great day and today I'm gonna to be taking you through a full day of eating. Now, I started lifting at the age of 16. I've been lifting for about three years now. I've been absolutely smashing it, I've been killing it. I've been pushing my genetics to the limit, like to the absolute maximum. I've been working so hard and today I'm gonna to take you through what I eat on a daily basis. Is what I've been, I've been doing this for about a year and a half now. And I feel like when you first start lifting, right, for the first year of your lifting, you can put on muscle very easily and while staying relatively lean. However, after that year period, uh, unless you've got like top 5% genetics, which most of us don't, I definitely didn't, um, it is, is very hard to put on muscle mass while like staying really shredded. I feel like you, to put on muscle mass, you have to gain a little bit of body fat. However, the, what I'm going to show you today, or what the foods I eat is the closest to a, a lean bulk, is the closest to being able to put on mu mu maximum muscle mass while staying lean. Now, when I first started lifting, um, for the first year of my lifting, all I wanted to do was gain weight. I just wanted to fill out the t-shirt. I was really skinny. I like low self-esteem, all this stuff. And the first thing I wanted to do was literally just gain weight. I wanted to gain weight. I wanted to just fill out the t-shirts. I didn't really know knew what I was doing when I was 16. I would go to the gym. I wouldn't I wouldn't train legs. <laughs> the only thing it was like the gym starter pack. I literally just trained shot. I wouldn't even train shoulders actually. I just trained chest and and arms and and like abs. And I might train back like a little bit, but I didn't train legs. Didn't train shoulders. I didn't really focus much on that. All I wanted to do was just just basically just get big. So I would just literally eat anything and everything. However. After the year I started to put on size and then after like two years, you know, nutrition started to really become important. I feel like if you're not eating, you're not you're not eating the right food to fuel your body, you're not gonna get the results that you want. So the food that you can see in the background, just here, uh, which I'm gonna show you in a few moments, is all my food which I'm gonna um, be eating today or for the next couple of days you could say. And without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, and also, guys, one major tip that I'm going to give you right now, okay, is to buy Tupperware. Now, I've had so much Tupperware, and in my personal opinion, guys, the best Tupperware to get is Tupperware, which is like this, which has got these little things here because I've had Tupperware before, and it's basically, it's, it's going to leak. It's going to leak in your bag, and you're going to prep lovely food and the little plastic things are gonna break or leak and they're just gonna come out in your bag. So in my opinion, get a little bit more expensive and it will be worth it because they last longer, they're easier to wash, and yeah, that's my opinion. But anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna show you, take you through all the food I eat. So obviously water, very, very important. Your muscles are made up of 70% water, right? So drink loads of water, guys. I usually have a bottle before my workout and I would sip some throughout my workout. Um, which I'll probably show you later, and I will have one after as well. Now, let me move that. Carbohydrates, three main carbohydrate sources. Oats, sweet potato, rice, which somebody I, sometimes I make, and you can't really see that move that stuff. Basmati rice, just easier, one minute in the microwave. That's it, simple. Fats, now guys, fats are the easiest, easiest to get in. You've got peanut butter, a, a spoonful of peanut butter in like, um, a shake that I normally do. Greek yogurt, which is actually very high in protein as well, which I normally have like as my last meal or my last kind of snack, if you would say. Very high in protein. I normally mix out of whey protein. And then almonds, very good fats. And then protein, my main protein sources, guys. Eggs, which I'll have in the morning, which I'm going to be um, showing you in a minute. Chicken, which is already prepped. I already prepped that last night. And salmon, which is already prepped last night. And then whey protein tuna and yeah greek yogurt as i said and then obviously you've got the other stuff you've just got like other graphs like vegetables so bananas apples strawberries that's already like open a bit um tomatoes um all the good vegetables so you've got blueberries and mango which is like frozen or yeah frozen so i normally have like a blended smoothie of all that stuff um spinach salad broccoli cucumber all that good stuff. So yeah, that is everything we shall be eating. 
So this stuff will be going in there. So let's go and prep. meal of the day so I've got four scrambled eggs there 100 grams of oats uh, macros will be on the screen anyway it's easiest possible way to get your fats in just literally buy like a bag of almonds and eat them like wh while I snack here yeah, I normally eat about maybe 100 grams of almonds so while I snack I would have almonds or a protein shake if, if I would get hungry I would have like a protein shake in between meals to keep me like to keep me going to the next meal and then if I would if I was gonna have something else I'd have like either like fruit or almonds. So right here in the bowl, I've got about hundred grams of almonds. Um I did weigh them yesterday. So yeah, hundred grams of almonds, the macros will be on the screen now. Um I'm gonna go snack on them and then I'll see you in the next meal. Uh, what's happening guys this is number two no, meal number two the macros will be on the screen it's about 180 grams of chicken uh, about 120 grams of basmati rice and some spinach tomatoes uh, a bit of salad as well uh, what's happening guys just arrived at the gym now it's about six o'clock uh, i'm about to go train chest uh the previous video that you would have seen is a chest is a chest day but it's just part of my spit like i said um I usually have one of these before I work out, so I'm halfway there, I'm going to drink the rest of this and then also I'd have my BCAs and a pre-workout um, mixed together. If my pre-workout has BCAs in them, I wouldn't have it, but because this one doesn't, I just mix it in together. I'll have that, finish it with the rest of this and then go and train and that's about it guys. And then guys, just finished my session now. I've got my post-workout shake. It's about 22 grams of whey protein there. Uh, I've already had my BCAs, like I said. Let me just get this jacket out of the way. And yeah, so I've got my post-workout shake there. Macros will be on the screen. Uh, I smashed chest. I did, a, like, I did a bit of chest. I did dumbbell press today. I went And then I went into incline, and I did some flies and a little bit of tricep, not that much. But being in the sun today, and my fucking, look at that. My neck is burnt, but then my body's tanned. It's like... What's happening, guys? This is my third meal. It's about 180 grams of chicken breast, about 120 grams of rice. Just quickly, guys. I know I'm in my bedroom, but I'm about to eat this. I normally put, like, a bit of ketchup on there just because I'm not in a cut, but I'm, like, trying to lean bulk, and I feel like... It's just, it's not that bad for you because it gives it a little bit more satisfaction than the dryness itself. Um, I just want to say, guys, that, you know, like, I do appreciate, like, all the feedback and likes and, like, even if it's the extra subscriber, like, I do really appreciate that because, you know, I'm getting better at editing and I put a lot of time into it. So I thought I'd just do this quick update um, just to say, like, thank you for... Whoever said, you know, keep going, you look great, or just clicking the like button or anything. But yeah, I'm like currently like halfway through my third meal. Some dead intro in it, but. Anyway, see you next meal. Meal number four. Macros will be on the screen now. Um, in here, uh, some avocado, um, broccoli, tuna, and um, tin of tuna from John West, and 120 grams of rice. Again, basmati rice. And another thing, guys, also is 
people say, oh, you have to eat every two hours um, to maintain your muscle mass. Uh, don't eat like loads before you go to bed. Make sure you have like whatever, whatever. It's all bullshit, guys. If if you eat like all your meals in, it doesn't really matter what time you get your meals in. Um, if it's as long as as you get your meals in, that is the most important thing. However, I would advise not to have too much too uh, much food on your stomach before you sleep because it just it like taking long to digest so make sure you have something light before you go to bed so about 150 grams of salmon again cut up spinach and salad and broccoli that i did earlier and about 250 grams of sweet potato sweet potatoes underneath that so i'm going to eat this the macros will be on the screen again and yeah what's happening guys checking in this is the final last meal that's going to be shown today so it's the final meal 250 grams of Greek yogurt blueberries and some strawberries that is how it looks actually looks pretty nice to be fair and yeah anyway for the full macros of the day will be on the screen and um, if you did if you did like it please smash the like button if you're new please go subscribe I do appreciate it and uh, that's the end of the video uh, see you in the next one